hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kendra and in today's video we are doing another cash stuffing I'm excited I don't know why I'm so excited but I'm excited I think I know why I'm excited because look at this look at my everyday binder I still got money in it so yes and I get to stuff it again today so which means I'm gonna have more money in it so I think that's the main reason why I'm excited. So, I went to the bank today, which I don't usually do, but today I went to the bank and I pulled out my cash denominations, which you which you guys see me um, do in my last video. Well, not my last video, because my last video is the giveaway winner announcement, but the video before that, I did my uh, paycheck denominations. So, I went ahead to the bank and they gave me what I was asking for. I did make a mistake in that video. I think um, I had put 15 tens, but really it's 14. So I, good thing I caught that and I fixed it. So my total added up to my paycheck, 622. And we are going to go ahead and get right into this cash stuffing. So first things first, we are going to count the bills. So 150, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. So 626. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up in my cash tray. So here goes my budgeting, my denomination sheet that I did, and let's see what's on the next page. All right, let's pick check number three. All right, so we're gonna have this sit to the side so I can have my um, my reminder of what I'm stuffing. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. I don't think I'm going to need my calculator, so I'm going to see this to the bag. That way I can push my book over somewhere. All right, so mortgage is getting 101. So 100, I said 101. Mortgage is getting 141. So 120. 40 and one and that is our only one that I have which, which uh that's all I need 20 40 60 81 20 45 145 is what I stuffed last time so let's see how much we have all together 1 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 85 86 186 is what we have today 186 for mortgage I oh, mean hold on wait. is it 186 286 Oh my, I'm tripping. 286 is what we have for mortgage. I'm like, that sounds kind of low. 286 is what we have for mortgage. Okay, for utilities, we stuffed 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 last time. And today it is getting, um, let's see, 10, 20, 
30 it's getting 90 this time so we're going to do 10 20 30 80 90 and I just picked up the denominations for each one that I put down so like I had uh, 10 for electric 10 for water 10 for sewer and 60 for gas so that's why it is like that because I would have just did two 20s instead of the tens but that's how I budgeted out all right so let's go ahead and count it it should be 180 so 50 70 90, 110, 130, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 180. All right, so phone got 20 last time and it's getting 20 this time. So now phone has 40. Car insurance got 20 last time and it's getting 20 this time. So it has 40. Internet got 15 last time and it's getting 15 this time. So it has 10, 20, 25, 30. All right, Jim has five and it gets another five. So that's 10, which means Jim is fully stuffed. So Jim doesn't need any more for the rest of the month. Subscriptions, let's see. Subscriptions got one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's getting, Amazon gets nothing, Netflix gets nothing. Okay, so it gets nothing this week. I just wanna stay with six. Um, acorns gets 50 and it should have 50 in it 20 40 50 and just gonna grab a 50 so that's a hundred 50 60 70 80 90 100 savings should have 50 and it gets 50 so 20, 40, 50, and we want to grab a 50, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That is getting 70. Last time I think I was able to stop the 35. So let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 20, 30, 35. So yeah, I was able to stuff 35 last week. This week I'm only able to stuff 70 since my paycheck was so low. So it's gonna get 50, 60, 70. When I did my denominations, I actually did a 50, a 20, and a 10. That's why I had um, 15 10s instead of 14. So I realized that when I rewatched the video. So now, Capital One has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 
and that is it for our bills binder go ahead and close this up and let's move on to our everyday binder so with my everyday binder i'm not gonna take anything out i'm gonna leave it in here because at some point all this cash is gonna be gone so what we have from last week we have a ten dollar bill which i feel like a 10 is missing i don't know what happened yeah i don't know what happened i'm trying to think that i give my daughter something but i don't think so so we have ten dollars and eating out is getting 50 and i'm pretty sure i did a 20 two tens 20, 30, 40, and two fives. I think. Let's go back. Let's double check. Eating out. Got four tens and two fives. So, okay. Never mind. Let's put the 20 back. Four tens. 10, 20. Oops. Let's see. 10, 20, 30. 40, 45, 50. Plus the two fives that we already had. So that gives us 60 for eating out. For groceries, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 dollars left in groceries. So groceries gets 30. So we're going to do a 20 and a 10, which gives us 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So we have $47 in groceries. Gas, I did get gas last week or a couple days ago and I spent $25 on gas. So we are going to do. Alright, first of all, gas is supposed to get $30. So a 20 and a 10. And I need to make change because I need to put 25. back to the bank for the gas so let's see groceries i'm gonna take these two fives and put this 10 in groceries Okay, so groceries is, still has 47. Gas has 70, but we got to take 25 out to put back in the bank to pay towards our credit card that we use. So now gas has 45. Shopping. Shopping has 11. Look at this. Look at this dollar. I want to get rid of it. Okay. So shopping has 11 left. And it is getting 40. 
So, did I, let me see what our budget, what our denominations I picked for Shopee. Shopee was supposed to get a 20 and two tens. So I don't know what happened to my 20. A 20 and two tens, but we got 10, 20, 30, 40. So shopping now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 51. And fun is getting 15, so that's our last 10 and 5 for fun. And fun has 25, 25 from last week, so we didn't really, we didn't do anything last week, basically. So, still has the 25, so we're going to put 10, 20, 40, I mean, I cannot count, 20, 30, 35, 40. $40 and fun. That is it for stuffing our everyday wallet. And I hope that next week I will have some money left over like I did this week. So I'm trying not to eat out too much or do too much shopping. All right, so I also wanted to show you guys my change jar. So I had this change building up um, just over time, but you can tell that I've been using my cash this week because now I have this change and I had a different coins jar. I had um, vinyl on it and everything in the last two videos I've been wanting to show you guys my coins jar but I never did and then the other day my son knocked it off the table and broke it so I guess it wasn't meant for me to show you guys but I wanted to show you guys the change that I've accumulated from um using cash so that is that I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here I went to the Dollar General today and they had these jars for $3. So I went ahead and purchased one. Which I think is cute. It's, I think mine, the other one I had was a double the size. But this is really cute. I think it's big enough. Alright, so now this money is going to go in my bank's bank envelope so it can go back so I can remember to take it back to the bank and that is it that is everything for today's video I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up be sure to leave a comment below please consider subscribing I'd love to have you on my channel and I'll see you in the next video bye